Good morning, YouTube friends. Um, just got up and it's bright and sunny and it, it feels great out here. The roosters are crowing. Uh, as soon as the big animals heard me, they all started running after me. <laughs> you can see my kids building, been building tents and sleeping outside. They love being outside. So anyway, I'm back with another garden update this morning. And uh, everything's growing like crazy. And I did trellis some things. And I don't think I got any of that on video. Maybe I did. I'll have to look. But uh, we had a really, really hard rain come through. And tore the trellises down because they were just weak little things. And so I need to do something stronger. I'm going to work on that today. So let's go take a tour of the garden. It's grown a lot since I last showed you. As soon as you walk in the garden, we have the... Pumpkin, the um, Lady Godiva pumpkin that is completely taking over right here. Look how tall it is. That probably comes up to mid thigh on me. And that corn there probably comes up to almost my shoulder. <laughs> it's it's pretty tall. I wish I had more corn, but okay. I'll, I'll go over there in a second. But there's the Lady Godiva squash taking over. And here's my pumpkin, I'm trying to see where it starts. There it is. These little mounds with hay on it. And so I had three coming out of one little mound, and then four out of another, and then one out of another. So eight total. And I've, I've got some blooms, some my little blooms. There's some more blooms. I haven't seen any actual baby melons on here yet, but there may be some that I missed. But they're growing really well. And then you can see I have, I'm going to have to plant the beans and the corn a little bit before the squash next year because the beans are not super tall yet. I'll have to grow, plant the corn first so it can grow and then the beans can grow up it. And I don't know, the squash is just crazy. It's like, man, it's growing really well. That's the little Godiva. <clears throat> And I promise you I left a path through here, but I don't have one now. <laughs> no more path. So I'm just going to have to set, step through there and try not to step on any plants. And this is the butternut squash over here. They're getting very tall and just completely taking over. I almost kind of have a path through here. And there's one growing like uh, maybe a sunflower. I think that's a sunflower growing in the middle of the path there. Crazy, crazy. The okra are doing really well. I figured they'd be taller by now, but they are still growing pretty consistently. So <clears throat> I guess I'll keep getting taller. And I haven't really seen blooms on these yet. Maybe little buds, but that's about it. So, so there's the watermelon, the squash, corn, beans, and okra. They're getting so tall. Okay, and then I've got the, see, we just haven't trellised these yet, but the Fat Baby Achoches, they look really good. They're not as big as I thought they would be by now, but they look really well. Tomatoes of all kinds, and there's my two pepper plants. And again, not a whole lot of flowers, but I think I did see some fruit on here the other day. Yep, there's a couple little baby ones in there, see? Little baby peppers. And there's a, another one by my finger there. Oh, look at that. I knew I saw a bigger one. Yep. And they don't get real big. This is red cheese. They don't get real big, so that one should be ready. So habanado plant. Again, not many blooms. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but the plant looks very healthy. Very big and full and healthy. Okay, now the tomatoes... I would have to look at each little, um, little, uh, what is it called? The little card that has the name on it. Because these are all different kinds, but they are crazy. And I was going to get tomato cages, and I said, forget that. They're just too big. So I think I'm just going to do stakes with wires. Ma Shh, 
I'm trying to do a video here. You're too loud. I may wrap some fencing around it. that would be bigger than the tomato cages. But anyway, I do have a lot of little tomatoes, if I can find some to show you. These, these two right here are red currants. And I know that I've seen several clusters of them. And of course, I don't see any at the moment. But there are several. There's a lot of balloons. See, I get them. These come on in little clusters. Here's some right here. A little cluster of them. And they don't get very big, but I have a lot of those. Once they start ripening, I have a feeling I'm going to be picking those probably every day. I got, I don't know if you can see way down there at the bottom. Those were my first two tomatoes, and they're not growing very fast now. They were in the beginning, but they're not really growing very fast now. I don't know if they're not getting enough sun or what. Hello, Mr. Sunflower. Hey, Mr. Rooster. <laughs> yeah, and then all the other sunflowers are blooming a lot. And moving on over here. So there's a full view of all the tomatoes. They're just all just kind of lumping in together. Um, all right. And then we've got just a few more things. We did get our first harvest the other day. Oh, this is, a, this is another tomato. Um, What's it called? Orange Jing Okra. And there are some baby okras right there. And there's another plant right there. And... Okay. I don't know if I can find any right now. We're going to work on trellising these again today. Do a better job of it this time. You know, there's a ton of blooms. We actually hand pollinated these the other day. These are my... Um, bait alpha cucumbers because we don't have a whole lot of pollinators so we hand pollinated them but I did find one that was ready to harvest and look at that one you see that one so that one has probably a few more days a couple more days at least we did harvest one of these and we also harvested one of the dragon eggs and I forgot to get it on video Kicking myself. I don't even know if I got a picture. I did get a picture of the dragon egg. Maybe I'll use that as my thumbnail. But anyway, I don't see any more on here yet. That's why we hand pollinated because there's just not that many growing. But there's tons of flowers. So, my, I have two of my purple molokai, however you say that, sweet potatoes that are thriving. But the rest of them all died, so... These two are making it though. We'll see how they do. And I still need to add more dirt. <laughs> There's the big piles of cucumbers. Hopefully the hand pollination worked and we'll get a lot of them pretty soon. So there's my garden. Today is July 6th. We'll get the video up tomorrow. And the rabbits feasted on some cabbage last night. They didn't, didn't even eat it all. They were so full. Let's go see how the chickens are doing. Good morning, girls. You boys. <laughs> Looks like everybody's here. Please ignore the messy yard. We got a lot of work to do. The rain and the kids, we clean it up one day and the next day it's messy again. Well, I guess that's it. guess that's it for this video. Garden update, let the chickens out. I think we got the big animals on there. These hens sure are happy out here. We're not getting a whole lot of eggs yet, but they are good eggs. Very tasty, very nutritious another tent and that was a little tent I guess it wasn't very strong it blew down <laughs> all right well thanks for watching we'll see you tomorrow or soon